Hey YouTube, welcome back to Full Charge Gaming. My name is Jover Charge, and we are here to charge up your gameplay for Hacknet. We just defeated Nikes, or we just got past Nikes, and we are gonna move on to the CSEC missions, as well as some other cool stuff too. So here we go, guys, let's get right to it. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to go to our Entropy email, and they're telling us that they wanna figure out where Nikes stole that file that we found earlier. So we gotta get into something called the Keon Box. So we're gonna activate it there. And the Keon box is here, and let's just probe and see what we're dealing with. We have a proxy and we have some ports we need to get through. That's no problem, let's go to our PC and we'll get a couple shells going. Remember, you can just click on the nodes that are already brightly lit, and this will give us some easy shells we can use to get in. So we're gonna go back to the Keon box, and we're gonna probe, and we're gonna start to overload this proxy. And now we have a trace on hand, but that's no problem. We have four shells going. Should remove the proxy pretty fast. And remember guys, we also have SMTP overflow and we have our FTP bounce and we have SSH crack. So we have three methods to get through the ports now, which is great, uh, it gives us more options. So we're gonna start hacking through ports 25 and 21. So once we get through these, we are definitely gonna run the port hack and we are looking for an IP address for where Nikes possibly stole those files. Now, I don't know if I'm not saying that correctly, Nikes or Nix or Nai, maybe there's no, maybe there's no pronunciation of the X there. Here we go. So under home, root, Microsoft storage servers. So there we go right there. We have the IP address. Now before the trace gets us, we're just gonna go to the log, RM star to delete everything, and then we're just gonna DC, no problem. Now let's connect to that Microsoft server, so that's 168.61.82.246. Now here's the Microsoft storage server. Let's just probe it and see what's going on with it. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on here. We have a proxy and a firewall, and I'm gonna show you guys how to deal with firewalls today, but we don't have enough programs to hack through all these ports, but maybe later we can come back here. Nevertheless, we're just gonna go back to our email, go to Entropy, and we're gonna tell them the IP address that we found, and that will suffice for this mission. And send that along, and now we have a congratulations. Now what's gonna happen is we are gonna be invited to CSEC. So this is going to be the CSEC gauntlet mission, and there's a lot of neat things we're gonna learn how to do here, guys. So first, let's get in. Basically, what you start with is we are going to probe this first one. Now, we have a firewall. So when dealing with firewalls, you need to know basically two commands, analyze and solve. You start with analyze and what it will do is it will start scanning the firewall for numbers and letters that repeat. So you have to run this multiple times. You need to run it a total of six times. So you type out analyze, hit enter, and it's going to spit out numbers and letters slower and slower and slower every pass you make. But after the sixth pass, what you'll notice here is there's only one number or letter in each row after six passes. So what you have to do here is type solve, and then going from top to bottom, type out the letters that are there, K-R-A-K-E-N. And if there was nothing in that row, then you simply type zero. There's Kraken, and now we've solved the firewall. So that firewall code will always be connected to this IP address. So if you remember these things, you can come back to them and just type out solve Kraken and you'll be good to go. But you have to do this before you can start sending data to these ports. So you have to do the firewalls first. It's kind of like a proxy, but it's just a little different. So now we can do our FTP bounce and our SSH crack or SMTP overflow, whatever programs you wanna run on those specific nodes. We know how to do this. All right, now that we are in, let's check out the file system. Nothing, nothing. There's our logs, uh, test. Continue, continue to linked server to advance to next stage. So we know how to do that. You just type out scan and look at that. It gave us another PC to go to. And as always, we make sure we remove everything in the log file before we disconnect. Now let's go to the next computer in the gauntlet and continue. All right, now we have to do a proxy. We can do this. You just simply overload the proxy with our various shells we have running. So now that that's done, we can just run any combination of two various port hacks that we own. And once we solve a minimum of two, then we can run port hack and get into this PC. All right, now that we are in, let's take a look at what's going on inside gauntlet number two. And inside the home, we see a continue.txt and it says continue to linked server. So that's fine, we're gonna scan. 
we have yet another PC to connect to. This is CSEC Gauntlet 3. So as always, go to the log file, remove everything, then DC. It's a good habit to get into. All right, let's probe this one. All right, we have a proxy and a firewall. What you wanna do is you wanna start overloading the proxy while you solve the firewall, okay? So just go to your shells, click overload a few times, get that going, then type out the word analyze and get working on the firewall. Now what I found easy is just to type up arrow, enter, that way it auto completes that analyze function for you. And we have to get a minimum, minimum of six passes. So as soon as we do that, we can generate a solve and this password is K-U-N-K-K-A. And now we can start running syndicated UDP traffic to these ports, whatever that means. Sounds legit. And we had to run a minimum of three hacks on three different ports to get in. Now we've got port hack enabled. Now we can get into this file system and see what's going on. Here's a test. Invitation passwords. Okay, so there's my password. It's got Jovercharge and my password. Let me just get that file just in case I forget it. And then there's a gift. Ooh, web, web server worm. Let's get that too. That sounds nice. So we'll grab that. We're almost running out of time, but no matter. RM star, and then you can just DC before it finishes deleting everything. This saves quite a bit of time. And they want us to email them the password we found. So we're gonna reply, and if we look in our log file here, you can see it was Jovercharge, and they gave me a password of ABX07CC9, and send it. All right, now we're in. So our first mission for CSEC is they want us to access the 11 herbs and spices for CFC, not KFC. So they want us to basically download the files containing the special recipe, and upload them to the public drop server. So they're gonna give us a server here to put the files and they're gonna give us a web page here that we need to hack, find the recipe and get out without leaving any trace. Here we go. So here's the CFC website, Colonel's Food Corner. And it looks like it's got a health bar. I imagine as you eat the food, your health decreases over time. Everyone loves chicken. All right, so anyway, what we're gonna do, uh, yeah, we're gonna probe this website, porb. We're gonna probe this website and check out what's going on in here. Not too much going on, but we did download a brand new hack for ports. We downloaded the web server worm. So what we need to type here is web and then hit tab and that auto completes the web server worm and we can run this on port number 80. And so it's a brand new method of hacking ports. So we have four different ones we can do now. SSH crack, FTP bounce, web server worm and SMTP overflow. So with those four, we should be able to get into a lot of neat places now. So with that done, we can just run our port hack and now we are in the kernel Colonel's Food Corner website. And let's see what's going on in the background here. Server structure, web admins. Remember this server is exclusively for front end content. All company files should be hosted on a more secure mainframe uh, and internal servers. So we may not find what we're looking for on this website. Okay, so there's some kind of PC connected to this one. So let's just run a simple scan command. Ah, all right, there's some CFC corporate server over here. So what we're gonna do first is just cover our tracks. Let's go to the log folder and just delete everything. All right, let's probe this system and see what we have. All right, we just need to crack four of these ports. We have to use every single one in our arsenal. So after running the various hacks, we can now port hack into this server and see maybe if we can find something useful. Training files. Oh, here we go. 11 secret herbs and spices. But here's the thing, there's no actual recipe here. What they're telling us here is that the recipes are never given out to any one employee and they're sent to stores in unmarked bags and they have to mix them on site. So this isn't actually gonna give us what we need. I think most people assume this is the file, download it and upload it, but this actually isn't it. So what we need to do is find the recipe and there's nothing in this new employee welcome kit, but if you look in this order records guide, Ah, there's a Colonel's Food Corner Records Repository. Maybe what we need is in this IP address. So we're gonna have to check that one out. Let's back out, as always, delete everything, and then let's disconnect. 
Then let's connect to that IP address that we found, 202.7.177.65. The CFC records repository. This looks maybe more promising. There's a firewall. So we're gonna analyze this firewall and that's gonna initiate a trace. That's okay. Remember, we have to do six passes to get a proper password. We've run the third pass. Here comes number four. Lo and behold, the password is, you guessed it, chicken. Then we're gonna run our syndicated UDP traffic, whatever that means, to these two ports, and we're going to make our way in. Now this trace is gonna be a little bothersome, so we gotta work a little fast. Once we get in, we're gonna have just a little bit of time to look around and see if we can find these 11 herbs and spices. All right, let's view the file system and just go straight to it. Ordering, boom. Look at this, seasoning order placement template. Paprika, rub sage, this is what we want. This is the secret recipe. And it looks like there's two different templates. These two files are what we're looking for. So we use the command SCP to download these. Make sure you use tab to complete these command entries faster because we are on a trace. So you just type out the first few letters and then hit tab and it'll auto complete for you. There's plenty of log stuff, nothing in these other folders. So you just go to the log folder, RM star DC. Now, all we need to do from here is upload the two different recipe files we had stolen. But there's one little thing I wanna show you guys first. Remember that website we went to first, the cfc.com? Here's something kind of neat we can do. We can edit the HTML on this front page. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So what this is, is this is their homepage and there's a file that actually describes what it looks like, what the text looks like, how big the text is, what color it is. We can edit this and make it say interesting, funny things. So let's log into their system and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. When you go to their web file, there's an index.html file. And if you look at this, what this file is describing is what that front page is gonna look like. You can edit the values in here to make it say whatever you want. So what you do is you type out the word replace, then you need to type out the file name. So we're gonna type out index.html and then in quotes, you need to type out the portion of text you want to replace. So let's say instead of everyone loves chicken, exclamation point, and then quote, space. And then in the next set of quotes, you can have it change to whatever you want it to be. So instead of it saying everyone loves chicken, how about everyone loves diarrhea? Exclamation point, enter. Now, when you go back, and you look at their front page, it should say, everyone loves diarrhea. So instead of it saying Colonel's Food Corner, we can have it say something like Ryu, and we come back out <laughs> and yeah, now it's Ryu. And instead of putting a little chicken there, I'm gonna put a little photo of Ryu there. So now it's Ryu's health bar. Everyone loves diarrhea, something silly. But you can do this as we go out the game. You can just insert little funny things into the HTML. And of course, guys, as always, go into the log file and delete everything you did. That way no one can tell that you edited the front page of Colonel's Food Corner website. So anyway, we're gonna go to the public drop server and we're gonna upload some files. Simply type in upload and then we need to upload the 11 herbs and spices seasoning kit. So just type out seasoning order placement part one dot docx. And as you guys can tell, you have to type out upload and then the folder that the file's located in slash, and then you can hit tab, and hitting tab allows you to see all the various possibilities. So it's upload, space, the folder, and then whatever file. And if there's more folders, you can, you can definitely go into more detail there. So seasoning order placement part two, and that is both of the files. And I think we can just go and reply to this email and we completed it. So now we get access to CSEC. We can do their missions now. We completed their gauntlet. We've done some analyze commands for firewalls and we even edited some HTML. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Tune into the next one. We're gonna keep playing and we're gonna move throughout this game. And I hope you guys tune in and watch those. My name is Joe Vercharge and as always guys, stay charged and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.